Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm going to go through both methods as far as using the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula to find the missing side. That's why this is called a student's choice assignment because you can use whatever method you want. And then when you find your answer, add up your sides to find the perimeter. All right, so we're going to start this one. This is going to be the Pythagorean theorem. So, as we start this one, we'll start with line segment AB. So, we have A squared plus B squared is going to equal C squared. Okay? So, what I have to look at here is for each of these, I need to draw a right triangle. So, I draw my right triangle. I start up here and draw a right triangle right like that. So this side here is 1, 2, 3. So that's going to give me 3 squared. This side here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 9 plus 25 is going to be 34. And then I find the square root of both sides. And the square root of 34 is going to be 5.8 rounded to the 10th. All right, so my first side is 5.8. Now I need to do the same thing over here to find the distance for line or for segment BC. So again, I'm going to use the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So there's one unit, there's two units, so one squared is one plus two squared is four, find the square root of both sides. And the square root of 5 is 2.2. So now I know two of my sides. I just need to find the third side. So again, I'm going to draw my right triangle. And that's going to be line segment AC. So there's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now I just find the square root of both sides. So the square root of 37 is 6.1. Now, all I need to do is take each of these and add them up. So I have 5.8 plus 2.2 and then 6.1. So that gives me a total of 14.1. So that tells me my perimeter for this shape is 14.1 units. All right, so now this example is going to be for the distance formula, okay?
All right, so same thing. Let's start over here with line segment AC. Or A, I'm sorry. Let's start with AB again. So here's what I'm going to do is point A, the coordinates for point A are negative 3, 2. And then the coordinates for point B are going to be 2, negative 1. All right, so this will be my x1, y1, and then x2, y2. All right, so let's go to work on our distance formula. So this is going to be the x2 minus x1 squared. So 2 minus negative 3 squared, and then negative 1 minus 2 squared. So 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5 squared. So again, and we found this last time, the square root of 34 is going to be 5.8. So what that tells me is my first side here is 5.8. Now my next line segment, BC. All right, so I have B, which is 2 negative. 2, negative 1, and I have C, which is 3, 1. All right, then, so here we are. 3 minus 2 is going to be 1 squared. So 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 squared. All right, so square root of 5 is 2.2. So right here, this side's 2.2. All right, so then our last one is we have the line segment AC, where A is negative 3, 2. And C is 3, 1. All right, so same thing. Set up our distance formula. X1, X2, Y1, and Y2.
So my x2 here is going to be 3 minus a negative 3 squared. And then I'm going to have 1 minus 2 squared. So 3 plus 3 is 6. So that's going to be 6 squared. All right, so 6 squared is going to be 36. So negative 1 squared is a positive 1. So the square root of 37 is going to be 6.1. All right, so just like we did on the previous screen, I'll take 6.1. Add that to 5.8. Add 2.2. And all of that's going to equal 14.1. And that's going to be your perimeter. All right. So if you have any further questions, just come and find me on uh, Google Meet. And we can go over this together again. Um, but you're free to use either the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem. Have a great day.